Dreidel, Trompo, Bamboran. <laughs> These are so funny! Begama. Spinning tops are some of our species' oldest toys. They're simple. They whoosh. They're kind of boring. I mean, I can switch on the gamer box and murder a man. Why do I need your spinning crap? Huh? Picking up speed, running out of time. Oh, Going God! Beyblade, Begoma for the 21st century. I had them, my friends had them. They got banned from my school because some kid choked another over a game of plastic tops. The truth is, no matter how silly spinning tops spun cool is, you can slap a bright coat of primary color paint on just about anything, pretend it's cool, and kids will buy. Because you're not selling them tops, you're selling them dreams. So here we are. But there's no one to play, and no arena, and this ridiculously illegal weight disc I got from a downtown variety store like 17 years ago outspins everything by an absurd amount. What do I do? Really bad, she has gotta let it rip. Are we really doing this right yeah. now? You just gotta let it rip. Like a fart? Like, do a fart on camera? No. Oh, like, play Beyblade video games. Beyblade has lots of games. Lots and lots of games. Thankfully, most aren't translated, so we're sticking to the English releases. And we will find a good Beyblade game. Believe it. So without further ado, let it rip! Beyblade on the PS1 is pretty f <laughs> terrible. Hey, person who grew up with the game in the comments, it's gonna be okay. You weren't cheated out of your early years. Your childhood was valid. This isn't gaslighting, it's affirmation. It's definitely the most alien of the games to get a grip on. Manual or not, things weird. It might look like I'm controlling the blade here, but no, my controller's in my lap. Oh, I won. Okay, credit where it's due. You can be boy or girl. You can customize your blade. That's a good name, I like that. All right, got my bay, let's play. First opponent, Blader A. Oh, what a name. But you're no match for Gooch Mulcher. Let it rip! I hate this game. It's real sneaky like that. It makes itself look presentable, but you can't directly control your top. You can influence how long it'll spin. You can change its angle so it spins around more or stays center with the flat, sharp option. Like the uh, tip of your Beyblade, you know? But ultimately, it feels kind of like golf with rock, paper, scissors elements. Dear Lord, what a pitch. You can't feel the pulse of the game. Tops fly out at random. God! All right, screw tourney mode, let's learn in custom games. With recognizable characters. I miss these designs. After this series, they went really chibi and like, fair enough. But I miss the main crew looking cool, you know? Oh man, the announcer used to be so energetic, but he's really funning it in these days. I mean, it's weakly translated, so all the dialogue is amazing. Oh. My. So the truth is, after a little digging, you can control your top. Barely. You can kind of pull back on its arc so it doesn't go totally out of control. Not like it'll save you. Jesus. You can also hit X when two blades collide to shrug off some damage and deal more, apparently. But what's Beyblade without bit beasts? That's the whole gimmick. The cool top has a legendary spirit beast inside of it. Did I neglect to mention? Here comes one now! Tyson summoning Dragoon! Okay. I know I said I wanted to control the thing, but... Man, this is Beyblade V-Force for GBA, made by Full Fat and D Rights. Well, I do love rights. It's a totally different take on what you'd expect. No arenas, no real opposition, most of the time, just a course you gotta clear on a ticking timer. There's only one problem. Stupid controls! It's a combination of the isometric angle, the tight corridors they make you navigate, the dumb gimmick squares. Okay. Okay! Sometimes it's a smooth, fun experience. Never thought I'd be platforming with Beyblades, but here we are. I can see the appeal if you're into bite-sized handheld games, perfecting your course running skills. It's perfect for speedruns. They even have boss battles and bit beasts. Even if it's a little limp, it's neat. The real draw here, though, unless you're really into non-confrontational Beyblading, I guess, is the story. It's amazing. It's Tyson's new arch rival, Mr. X. Okay, you're not Mr. X, bucko. You're like Timmy Bushbrow. F off. But look out, Max is fighting some girl. Max watches in absolute horror. <laughs> he loses a game of battling tops. Horror! And no offense to pixel artists, it's a tough gig, but look at her face! What is that? Did you suck a lemon or did your cheekbones implode? Oh, don't forget about famous Beyblade character Dunga! <laughs> Dunga, though. Oh my god, Kai, your hair is eating you! 
Moral support? You can provide moral support for a top fight? How about some support then for playing these games, huh? Hey, okay, Bash. Way to give it your best shot, bud. Listen here, you little sh- oh. What the hell? Did they make a Beyblade RPG? I guess I totally forgot to dub Grandpa, but it's a little intense. Training helps you win. Training makes you stronger. Training makes you a big baller shot caller. <laughs> well, we're off to a great start. What's an RPG without lovable characters and settings? It's the Beyblade world. There's nothing to work with, okay? It's a licensed game. You get what the company paid for. The only real problem? Shunt's the appellation, Bladen's the avocation. Gulag. No, the problem isn't Sean's awful dialogue, it's... I can't play this game? I have no idea what I did wrong. I looked it up multiple times, but every single fight... Whoops, looks like K-Bash sucks at video games. Go to the park. Hey, K-Bash, I heard you suck at video games? Go to the store. Dang, K-Bash, you're pretty bad. At video games? And it's like Pogs, or some other relevant anti-game. When you lose, you lose parts. I lost Dragoon to a park kid. I lost the premier bit beast to a child! Oh. Oh. Okay. I learned from every tutorial the game gave me post-defeat. I went to the shop and bought a whole new Beyblade. I did the dishes. I can do this. Sean? K-Bash is my alias. I am going to kill you. There wasn't a rhyme for alias. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs>this isn't a hallucination. It looks pretty good. Beyblade on the GameCube is one of the more recognizable titles. I knew someone who had this. Huh. It's the same gameplay concept as the PS1 game. Rock, paper, scissors, the launch method. Make sure your shot is strong, but then, then you can actually move the Beyblade. Not too much, right? You're still swept up in the whirlpool, but look how much resistance you can apply. I shouldn't be so happy about this! So all they had to do was make hitting fun, throw in some defensive options, cool special moves. Surely that was handled well. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Make a character. Hey, it's PS1 Kid. A true non-binary icon. Bless up. Of course, you can make your blade, which is probably the best part of the game. What are these faces? What is this hub world? It's a JPEG! And seriously, Beyblades always looked a little funny, okay? But you ain't gotta do them like that. That's cruel. Thankfully, all your other favorite characters are back, like your boy Dunga! <laughs> back in the ring, you'll notice the top spinning. And spinning and nothing's really happening. Oh. Oh, a bit beast. Oh my god. Oh. Never mind. And that happens at least 4 to 8 times in a non-ring out situation. The game could be fun, genuinely fun, but hits are weak, options are limited, and big dumb super moves gum up the game flow for huge stretches of time in a fairly fast-paced sudden death arena game. It's so dumb. They were so close. According to speedrunners, you should line up the enemy with a hole in the arena and use bit beast attacks to knock him out. It definitely makes the game playable, but that's it. That's the peak. Line up and knock out. I am begging any of these companies, publishers, developers, whoever, to take some fighting game cues and make a game with buttons. Please! And that's it for retro Beyblade games. You like Tyson, Kai, whoever, they're locked in relatively bad old video games. You know, one time I went to an anime convention and saw a bunch of kids playing Beyblade and thought, like, that could have been me. If, you know, I'd stuck with it or, like, thought it would grow way past what it did. Anyway, look out for the passage of time. It'll kill you. It may be a new generation of Beyblade, but hope is with the youth. This is the first of the DS titles, Beyblade Metal Masters. It's not a pretty game, but it's pretty damn good. I may not know who these characters are. Ginka. Woof. But his game looks cool. It's a different take on the arena concept. It's much more open, so the focus is on interactions between Beyblades more than the whirlwind of the arena. And aside from the top mechanics, so you know, sliding around a little, it's a lot like a fighting game. Yo, did that Beyblade just jump and shoot a laser beam? Holy sh- I'm a big fan of the widened arena. It means ring outs don't account for most wins. It's actually kind of scrappy. And it's not the deepest system, but it's got options. You can block attacks, you can rush down the enemy. Some of the Beyblades have projectiles, like even trap projectiles, they can jump. Some can fly. It is, to date, the coolest Beyblade game. You know, they're actually doing some of the wild stuff Beyblade was known for. Because it was never just tops in a pot, right? They would attack, pull off stunts. They had the Bit Beasts. The Bit Beast thing might be 
effectively gone now, but they even put the long corny special move cutscenes in. Oh, it's so stupid. I love it. I can't say the same for the story, wherein the king of dinosaurs, or whatever, is resurrected and wants revenge on humanity for... the meteor, I guess. Yeah, okay. Back to extinction with you. If anything, I wish this was the game we got on console. There is no other Beyblade game in English quite like it. And no, I will not be changing the title. Looks like you've been successfully clickbaited yet again. <laughs> I'm out of control. Beyblade Metal Fusion on the DS. I can't control this one. Sometimes when you record footage using your personal Nintendo DS computer, you run into some difficulties with abnormal controls. I can't yell in the microphone. Well, I can, but you know. You know. How good is this one? I guess we'll never know! Okay, let's jump to the 3DS. Yeah, yeah, no offensive names. Nothing to see here, pal. Whoa, slow down on that tutorial. Bro, Ginka, I don't think I can do all that stuff. Well, just like before, I can't control this one. You need a genuine console tilting ability. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, oh, I won! Oh, let's queue up another. This game's wild. I have no idea if it functions well. Maybe it totally sucks. Who can say, really? All I know is that I win again. Okay. <laughs> I mean, really, I didn't even look at the manual. This doesn't qualify as a review. Not that I had the intention of properly reviewing licensed Beyblade games, but how is this happening? I have no inputs! Yeah, sure, I'll play your mini game. Won't be any good, though. I, I can't actually tilt the Beyblade, can't aim at the other balloons, just the one row. And it's done. And I'm amazing. Failing up as always. All right, let's go. Let's do a real battle. We're out on the streets, but I can feel it in me. I'm a damn legend. I can do anything. I can do 10 push-ups. Can you even attempt to close the gap between us? I can do 10, and there it is! K-Bash, champion of doing nothing! K-Bash wins by doing absolutely nothing! Okay, I've screwed around a little too long. Can't end on that, right? The Wii got a Beyblade game as well, and it ain't half bad. Now you gotta remember, when it comes to anime games, you get your pre-existing investment out of the game, generally. Like, some random dude probably not gonna like Beyblade Metal Fusion Battle Fortress. A fan or someone getting paid for this? Yes, not bad. Well played, Hasbro. Before we talk gameplay, here's the setup. Ginka lives for Beyblade battles. <laughs> Kyoya, his rival, loses to a robot. This sucks. Losing is for losers. Fucking astute. There are bad people wandering through the desert. Am I expected to appreciate that demented mutants like these just walk around in the real world? They're like the evilest looking people. And all of these people end up in the battle fortress. Basically a giant floating top to do bay battles in. No, it's not Shakespeare. A little more like Cormac McCarthy. The target audience didn't get that and neither did the people who know who Cormac McCarthy is. What does a Beyblade game need? A satisfying launch, fun battles, moves, options, good special attacks. It doesn't quite live up to that one DS game whose name I've already forgotten, but I could see this being fun in multiplayer, which it has. So compare it to something like Bleach Shattered Blade, right? Demonstrably not great, still fun. So, how many boxes does it tick? A satisfying launch. Aim, hold the button, pull back and yell, let it rip! It's right there in the tutorial, baby! Let's go! Fun battles. Beyblade spin around without your consent, but you can whip the Wiimote to hurl yourself in one direction or another, which lets you control offense and defense simultaneously, letting you successfully attack with a well-timed and well-aimed swing or skillfully dodge. It's the amazingly simple concept that makes the entirety of the match engaging. Ring outs still happen, but straight up destruction of enemy blades is more common, especially if you really hammer them throughout. And when you do get a ring out, they're just gone. Look at that, that's a ring out, baby! I will say, the game sometimes throws multiple blades at you, which is total nonsense. Fights can be tough to win without the extra ring out chance, but it justifies the customization and absurd power level the player can obtain. It's surprisingly well done for a Beyblade game all around. And you know they had to bring back corny special moves. And they work, because unlike the GameCube's endless interruptions, you have to constantly hit the enemy to earn them. And the payoff is usually a win. Look at this dude, summoning Sagittarius 
to skewer a top. You'll love to see it happen. And after all this stuff, these memories transforming before my eyes, I gotta say, Beyblade was a fun thing to think about for a couple weeks. Guess I linger on old media and dead markets too much for my own good, but it's nice to think that the series, unlike so many I've covered, is still thriving. Beyblade may not last another decade. Maybe tops themselves will die out one day, but the world just keeps on spinning. Hey, it's K-Bash. Special thanks goes out to my $4 patrons, whose names are on the screen. The show's on its way somewhere good thanks to the community's generosity. And special thanks goes out to my extra generous patrons, who are... Andy Blarg, Arch, Basement Dweller, Big Bye Crybaby, Boha, Brandon, Brios, Cal, Can I Cuss on Here? Caesar T, Cordant, Chris A, Christo009, Cody Golden, Corgi the Lad, Couch Moba, CW Glassworks, Kyle Lapreed, Daddy Dagoth, Dakota Storm Jones, Dondium, Danky Stank Swanky Make, Dara, David Castillo, Den Het, Dylan Coffey, 8 Bit Funk, LPO, Annex, Aesthetico, Exa, Frankenstitch, Glyph Seeker, Guard Cory, Gucci Plant, Hatsune Miku's Crack House, Harkaj, Heman Gaming Station, Huey, Ingenious Clown, Irradiated Cherries, Ice Kyle, Ivy Ruth Langley, Jason Lasky, Jaden, J. Deus, John Weber, Joke Frog, Keegan Too Cool, Clocked, Crayden, Crazy Dark Chocolate, Latrix, Laundry Mom, Lego Sid, Loki, Lawn, Lucas Boyd, Magical Madman, Markules, Maximilian Wolfgang Niver, Mike DeVR, Milky Moo Official, Michelanius, Mr. Dodongo, Nairino, Nito Torpedo, Old Burgle, Old Man Cranberry, Only LK, Gaplant, PK Gaming, Quasar McDougal, Quinn, Reasonable Willow, Reggie Rodriguez, Ricochet Frame, Sagit Trash, Siren Smells Good, Salty Smasher, Sam Vertigo, Sekai Noah Warida, Shod, Silver Bear 909, Simp God, Slagathor, Sleepy Wabbit, Space Lizard, Special Children, Spooky Grimalkin, Squishword, Sublime Cataclysm, Super Katsanova, Super Sandwich Guy, TFY Lex, The Big Bubby, The Salt Knight, Thrips Heartrop, Travis Edwards, Twiddle Chungus, V01156, Vid, Venom, Vice Pup, Viewers Like You, Vic, Walter Taggart, Waposa, Weeb Trash, Well Shit, Zanny Tanner, Yay Kundo, Zachary V, Zanasso, Zane the Impure, Zane the Pure, Zed Slayer Gamer, Zyberbunk. If you'd like to help support the show and make it even better, check out my Patreon. We've got all kinds of goals and lots of rewards in store. Stay tuned for more. K-Bash out.